Can ID guide scientific research? Uh, I'm going to, I have a lot to cover, so I'm going to talk like an auctioneer today, if that's okay. No, just kidding. I couldn't if I wanted to, but I am going to try to cover a lot of material quickly. Uh, first, some background. In November of 2002, several of us were at Hillsdale College in Michigan, wonderful school uh, in all respects except biology, perhaps. Uh, during uh, our symposium there, Bill Dembski and Paul Nelson and I took a ride to Detroit to visit uh, a company called Ideation. Ideation is based on TRIZ, which is a Russian acronym which means Theory of Inventive Problem Solving. Uh, a man uh, a few decades ago looked at thousands of patents and figured out from them procedures that are routinely used by successful inventors to solve manufacturing and design problems. And he formalized this into a, a series of algorithms, which is now commercially very successful, uh, used by people who want to solve manufacturing and design problems. Well, the director of ideation, the connection with intelligent design, I think, is, is pretty clear. If this has interested Bill Dembski for years. Anyway, the director of uh, TRIZ, uh, oh, by the way, I have to tell you, I, when we went there, I was expecting, you know, to find a basement office, you know, with lots of cigarette smoke and Russian emigres and dark overcoats, uh, you know, dim lights. Well, we got there, and it was this huge, silvery skyscraper on the outskirts of Detroit. This, this outfit is really prospering, and all the Russian emigres work at home, you know, in their nice suburban houses. Anyway, the director took us out to a very fancy lunch, and over lunch, he told us, among other things, that ID has to solve real problems if we expect the world to take us seriously. Now, actually, all three of us had been thinking along these lines before, so this was kind of a kick in the pants in the direction we were heading anyway. To solve real problems, ID has to be able to guide fruitful scientific research. And the question I will address today is whether ID can do that, and specifically, how it might do that. How can ID guide research? Well, it seems to me there are at least two logical possibilities, perhaps more, but I can think of two. One is uh, ID can lead to hypotheses of design that can be tested, uh, to searches for evidence to either support or refute those hypotheses. And you have heard and will hear uh, several ideas along these lines here at this conference. But there's another logical possibility, and that is to actually take design as already, at least a priori, proven. And use design then, the assumption of design, to guide research in cosmology, physics, chemistry, atmospheric science, and biology. And I, I use this specific list because I am aware of efforts that are underway in each of these disciplines. I'm a biologist, so I choose to focus on biology. And I don't know if this is going to catch on. I don't really care. But I came up with this uh, in honor of TRIZ. Uh, I call it TOPS, Theory of Organismal Problem Solving. And uh, it's in its early stages, but let me give you some idea.